design influencers from all over have descended on Nantucket for a multi-day event held to honor the history of the island. Nantucket by Design kicks off this evening, and I got the chance to connect with some of the women involved. Nantucket, often referred to as the faraway island, has a long history of collecting ideas and even items from far off places. By the mid 1700s, the small spit of land was considered the whaling capital of the world. They brought the cultures that they saw when they were out in the world, years at a time on these boats, home to Nantucket. And that's what we're trying to do with this event. We're bringing the world home to Nantucket. Stacy Bucus is referring to Nantucket by Design, a multi-day event she co-chairs with Olivia Charney. It attracts visionaries and designers from all over to Nantucket, where a tradition of crafting and appreciation for the arts also dates back to whaling times. They had time on their hands, and so they developed crafts while they were on the boats, from scrimshaw to sailor's valentine, and weaving baskets. Bukit says this annual event with panel discussions and master classes attracting the likes of designer and former model India Hicks helps to preserve that rich history. It is the single largest fundraiser for the Nantucket Historical Association. Where Bukit serves on the board, Charney started volunteering at the association in her early 20s. I think it's surprising to most people what a very large and impactful presence and responsibility we have in our community beyond all the numerous properties that we own, all the artifacts that we maintain, all the stories that we protect. Michelle Holland has participated in Nantucket by Design since the start. She embraces the annual influx of new perspectives. I live on an island out to sea, so sometimes I need to draw inspiration from other places. Holland runs an antique store and design business on Nantucket and says the sometimes unrecognized diversity of her island home is why it's so special and widely relevant. I want to say that there was children born to parents of 100 different nationalities in our hospital last year. Uh, it's a, it is and it has always been an extremely diverse and welcoming and liberal place and I love showing that. I mean that has a lot to do with our style because people bring these influences from literally all over the world to Nantucket. And so our parent company Hearst, of yes. course, is helping to bring the event to Nantucket. Veranda Magazine, which is owned by Hearst, has a long promoted the importance of preservation, and Veranda is one of Nantucket by Design's main sponsors. So Sounds like a beautiful event. They've got beautiful weather, many days to enjoy and exchange ideas.